Hey everyone, Jamie Phillips here. So this is probably going to be my last game of Canada that I put on the YouTube channel. Uh, the rest will be on my Patreon. It's five bucks till January 2nd. Help support me, put me through grad school. All right, right off the hop. So uh, I can't remember. I watched the first period. I don't know what happened the rest of the game. Tip. It's tough because you're reacting to the shot, changes direction. Anytime, excuse me, anytime you can come across. Oh, good tip. That's hard to save. Anytime you can come across with like your with your blocker going to make that high save and your knees sealing the ice, that's perfect, but it's much, much easier said than done. So it doesn't read the back door. Small goalie too. He doesn't know what's going on. Are they short-handed? No. It's a tough read. I mean, you always want to know who's creeping in. Um, that was a good pass. You gotta fight through, fight through traffic to see that, and if you can, make that read on the pass. Nice pass, though. So he's got it last say now he no longer can see it. Didn't even see the release. Straight in. Didn't even see the release. To me, it looks like he may have got slightly ahead of it. But again, if you can't see the release, it's you it's so you can't stop it unless it hits you. You get lucky. That guy doesn't like it. Holy rip. Okay. Okay, as he comes across, he comes across flat. This is, we saw this in one of the other games. Um, look at the glove leg. Glove leg's behind him. That glove leg needs to be a little more forward. That is not the right, that's not what I wanted. The glove leg needs to be a little bit more forward. That way you can stay square through the shot. And he also gets, um, whether it's a what, ready? Yeah. So like, here's the thing about toe drags. The puck starts here, it's released here. Maybe about a foot. That's, an, oh, that's not enough distance to warrant you the goalie to have a big slide and that's why toe drags are so effective because they pull you in that they get you going this way and they push back or they shoot back good shot oh yeah oh, with off his angle Glove foot's flat, continues his momentum. And I don't think the stick interrupting a shot helped either. Oh, jeez, keeper. That's definitely a hit to the head. Oh yeah, that's an elbow. Oh, 
Oh, that's a high, high hit. <sighs> that's on the, uh, I'm not sure who the attendee is. That's on him to keep that puck from going to the slot. That's really it. He also didn't take a head check. He had lots of time to look and I see one, two, one, two, three, four. Doesn't look. If you don't look, you don't know what's going on. Plus, you can keep that pass below the goal line where it's less dangerous. Yes, sometimes you might deflect it up. It makes it a little bit more difficult for the player to, to get control, but if you can keep it below the goal line, but, but you can see, look how far he pushed from where the player actually was. Player makes contact here. He ends up over here. He didn't know what was going on around him. Know your surroundings. Head checks, head checks, head checks. Oh, well, I'm not going to lie, there is bias here because I am Canadian. live in the States, but I am Canadian. So, let's see. So I want Canada to do well. So this is, this is weird. I don't hate the save selection. I don't like positioning. If you're an undersized goalie and your goal is to over, like, he's choosing between an overlap. He's basically overlapping with his foot on the post. If you're going to, and that's not an overlap, that's just a butterfly. If you're going to overlap, you have to have your foot outside the post in order to have your body, have this post run through the back of your body. What I do like, I like that sm that smother in the active blocker. However, be a little bit more on the outside. It looks like he goes off the post off his back. Let's see, there's a different angle. Yeah, just he looks like he may have got caught up in between do I overlap or do I RVH, and it ends up being a combination of them. So if you're going to overlap, you got to have your foot outside the post. If you're going to RVH, you're going to have to do it. You can't pick and choose. Cool. Look what hit me. Didn't even see it. Wow, and he also for sure purposely bit went full speed into him. Oh, now he caught an edge. Never mind. Just looked funny from the other angle. Oh, they pulled their goalie. Nice save. Good battle. So I think that's fine. Stays inside his parallels, good seal. Off the toe. Off check, checkers, checha, check guy's toe. Good save. Good second effort. Really good save. It's a big save. Alas, it is not enough, but uh, lots of hockey left. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Like I said, I'll be still be doing games. I just think the Canada and the US games will be going up on my Patreon. It's five bucks till January 2nd. Appreciate you for watching.